Hi guys, my name is Alex Sabinski from Top Tennis Training and I'm a former British number four professional tennis player. My game style is aggressive baseliner with an occasional sneak into the net. Hi, my name is Simon Connor from Top Tennis Training and I am an all court player. I like to play that aggressive style and I've been playing tennis for about 30 years now. So uh, I've been using the Pure Aero for quite a while now, the last few years. Before that, I was using the Pure Drive. The Pure Aero, the new Pure Aeros, I feel are the more powerful rackets. I feel the, the Pure Drives have been dampened a little bit. So I feel quite a lot of power, quite a lot of top spin with these rackets. And I feel that like this one is very similar to the one before. Obviously, the paintwork has changed, but I think the core of the racket remained the same. So with this racket, it gives me a lot of power with that top spin, but I also have that control. So my own racket is a lot stiffer, a lot heavier, and actually something that I like to have is that feel on the ball, and this racket actually gives me that feel. So it's a great racket for someone who wants the power, wants the top spin, but also wants that control over their shot. So when volleying, um, I felt quite a lot of control on my volleys. And again, this could be to do with the fact that this is a synthetic gut string. I had quite a lot of feel. The racket fit, felt a little bit almost deader to me. It felt a little bit more stable, whereas my usual racket was giving me quite a lot of bounce back and uh, not as much feel, but I was getting a little bit more pop out of my shots. And it certainly felt a little bit better on the smash. So I really like how it feels on the volleys. If you want to impart that underspin, so that slice on the ball, this really helps you. Now with some of the older versions, I kind of felt the racket was giving me a lot of power on the volleys, but I lacked that control. With this one, I had that control, but I can then add the power. It felt great on the overhead, gives me that power, gives me that spin, but I also have the accuracy. With the serves, I felt very similar to uh, the, the old Aero. I felt like it gave me quite a lot of power, something that I like. This is quite a powerful racket, but it's also a racket that will give you slice and kick on your serve. Now with this racket, with the kick serve in particular, it really gives you a lot of that bite. So you feel it biting into the court and kicking up. Great for if you're playing on clay courts or on those higher bouncing hard courts. With the power, it also gives you that power, so you feel like you can hit through the court, you can produce that flat serve, but I rely a lot on that slice and on that kick, and this racket gives me that. It definitely suits my game style. I'm an aggressive baseliner and the type of player that likes to get cheap points on both my serves and my ground strokes. I also like to come forward and finish points at the net, and this racket is perfect for that. Now this racket will also give you topspin for those times when you have to defend in the point. So that balance between power and topspin, something that the racket does very well. So for me, I've always kind of shied away from the Bavalets because in the past it kind of gives me too much power and I lack that control. But I could really see myself playing with this racket, although I do like that stiffer frame, so maybe it will be a bit more testing with this racket before I make the change. I think they've done a great job with the design aspect of the racket and the color of it. It really represents Rafael Nadal's exciting style of play. It's a racket that will certainly get you noticed on the other side of the court. I really like the, the design, the color, the scheme of the racket really suits Rafa's kind of exciting game style. And I could really see myself playing with this racket, especially at the tournaments you want to stand out, you want to have a nice color scheme. And this racket really stands out and suits those kind of exciting younger players. I think so, yes, and uh, I think it's priced competitively with other rackets and the type of technology they've put into this racket, the amount of power you get, you almost get something extra out of the racket, which is definitely worth the price tag. Now, for someone that wanting to switch this racket, I'll definitely recommend it because, uh, as I said, it does give you that power and the easy topspin. So if you are someone that likes that lacks the power on their shots, it's a racket for you. If you are struggling to control balls, then it might be a tough racket for you to use because of the ping you get out of the racket. You may start to hit the balls long. You may need to have more of a control racket. I would put this racket into more of a power racket, power and topspin. I do. 
if you're comparing it to the Pure Aero, the normal version, you're paying slightly extra for that extra color uh, scheme. You're paying extra for that limited edition. So I think it really suits someone who wants to stand out from the crowd.